Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to round four of the Mad Dragon Six Nation series. What a game in store today. Italy up against Scotland. We're taking a look at the table at the end of round three. These two teams could not really be further apart. Scotland out there in the lead on 13 points, still on for a potential Grand Slam. Italy in joint last on two points with their draw they got at the start versus England. Two big performances needed today. Italy still looking to bounce back after some tough back-to-back -back games versus Ireland and France. And for Scotland, can they keep the winning ways to go on towards that Grand Slam as Garbisi gets us kicked off and underway as Giovanni Lacata picks up the ball but loses it after being taken to ground. Federico Ruzza has to try and regalvanize the team to go forwards but Scotland get the turnover as Finn Russell nearly finds a gap straight from the off as Xander Fagerson tries to take it himself not getting anywhere through there as Italy spread out wide to defend from the Scotland wingers who have been dangerous across the tournament so far. We saw Duhan van der Merwe last week going over for a hat-trick, played a brilliant game. Italy will want to keep him shut down this week. A good tackle going in there on Grant Gilchrist. And for now, Scotland are happy just to keep the ball in hand and try and go through these one-off runners, try and fatigue out the Italian players a bit. Once again, they go a little bit wider this time as Finn Russell tries to get it away and does. And already we've seen the break from Hugh Jones as the tackle needing to be made by the Italian fullback. And already Italy looking a little bit short out on this wing as the tackle goes in against Skinner. Ali Price as well to recover quickly to try and put Scotland back on the front foot. But Italy seemed to have weathered the storm for a second here and just got themselves back into a more straight defensive line. Scotland still holding onto the ball, not giving it away easily as they go for a nice little loop play through the lock as they try and get it out wider. Still going wide. The man not out on the wing, though. Duan van der Merwe, who's been in great positions all through this tournament so far. Unfortunately, not out there in the set play. Goes a little bit wrong for them there as we go to Italy's first line out of the game solid pass straight out the back there all but gone loose by Garbisi and picked up in the center there by Chris Harris Scotland suddenly have another opportunity to go on the attack a huge collision in the midfield there referees having a check in the background to check if it was high I don't think it is I think they'll come back oh as Finn Russell breaks through the line and still going through the tackles he's still going nobody can take him down Italy need to try and get back to their feet and get back for this one as Ali Price this time goes on the charge Kyle Stay fills in at scrum half as they go out wide can someone stop Matt Vegas and that close to the line it doesn't look like it and Italy will go over for their first oh sorry Scotland will go for their first try of the game Italy will concede their first try of the game real shame for them Italy have held up better today though so far but that man there Finn Russell has been causing all sorts of issues finding gaps in that defensive line and that is really where it began to break down for them as soon as they're put on that back foot you can see how bunched that Italian side is a great offload there to Matt Fagerson and they probably should have done a bit of a tackle there but Matt Fagerson gets over underneath the post and it could not be an easier kick for Finn Russell to get him started out in this game let's see how he gets on he lines up to take his conversion Italy will be looking to bounce back hard. If you remember last week in the Mad Dragon Six Nations, Italy did come straight back into this game against France with their own try. It was very well worked from the kickoff. Let's say if they can replicate it again this week as Garbisi. This time goes for a deeper kick. They've opted to not go for that short kick the second time round as they manage to pin Scotland back. Oh, and a knock on by Ali Price in the tackle will allow Italy the opportunity to potentially work something back into that game. Great tackle going in there by Zanon being able to take his man. Italy then with their first scrum of the game. Let's see if they can get this out nice and cleanly. Don't want to be giving away any easy penalties at scrum time, which will just give Scotland that easy exit as the ball placed in it's out the back here as Stephen Varney thinks he sees the gap he's got Garbisi on the outside of him tries to cut back inside riding a couple tackles who's with him there's no one out here on Monte Ioane's wing can Kyle Stain shut him down and does what an unbelievable tackle by the Scottish winger one on one had to be made and is shut down right on the edge of the touchline Italy just want to hold out here. Oh, as Ali Price goes for a box kick. Not the greatest kick. Manages to find grass, which will be useful for him. But Padovani now can go 
on the counter-attack. He does have men outside and through Garbisi this time. Sees the man out wide of Federico Mori, a big unit to take down. Gets round one defender, but Finn Russell gets back in time. Can Italy keep going wide here? Marine takes it up. Lamaro, the captain. Oh, a little bit isolated there. Italy do well to try and support him, but the ball turned over once again in that breakdown as Grant Gilchrist goes on the charge and that red cap always notable to see him as Duan van der Merwe. We've been waiting for him to get the ball in his hands today. It's been a little bit quiet out on that wing for him considering how well he's been doing in the tournament so far Scotland once again slowing down the play one to go for those one-off runners but a bit of a loose pass and Giovanni Lacata pounces on it straight away and Brex now has the opportunity to get Italy a little bit out wider Marine gets it out to Ioane this time does his defender can he keep it going well shut down by Blair Kinghorn in that fullback shirt today as Canone goes a little pop pass out to Marine just taking it up a few more phases at a time. Scotland are bunching up here. They know that Italy can be dangerous when they get this close to the line. They're still pushing. Oh, and Scotland have got another turnover. And a good exit clearance this time by Ali Price. Or maybe not. The win carried it back in. Monte Ioane tries to make it work for him. Doesn't. And Scotland on the counter-attack now through Xander Ferguson. Not managing to break through. That breakdown situation for Italy is not too great at the minute. That is their first turnover of the game. They have been waiting for it as Lucchesi gets it out to Fischetti. Getting it out a little bit further to Ioane. Managing to keep it going. Gets around Blair Kinghorn. Finn Russell once again. Man of the match performance potentially today. Playing the game of his life to get back and defend that one. Marine gets it out. Riccioni to Brax. Oh, couldn't get the final pass out. And Sam Skinner eventually gives away a penalty for hands in the ruck. What do Italy do from here? Do they push? Do they go for the three points? Do they want to try and kick it closer? Go for the driving mall? They've said no. They've opted for the scrum. They feel confident in their own scrummaging from earlier in the game. They feel Scotland are under the pressure. They've turned down the three points. They are putting it all on the line now. Let's see if this will pay off for them. Huge opportunity here for Italy to take something just before half time the ball put in it's out to the back of the scrum Scotland look a little bit outnumbered out here on the right wing as Marine wants to charge up round Duhan van der Merwe riding the tackle of Blair Kinghorn and gets over his first start on the inside centre today for Marine in the Mad Dragon Six Nations and gets over for a try in the first game for him fantastic work here well seen there by Stephen Varney was thinking about going left you could see him there looking one way picked up the ball went the other way Duhan van der Merwe caught short sighted out on this wing, well worked by Marine to outrun him and ride the tackle of Blair Kinghorn to get over for his try. Garbisi stepping up to potentially draw this game level against the champion leaders at the minute. Let's see how Garbisi will get on. It's a difficult kick. Luckily, hasn't got the sun in his eyes like Finn Russell had to deal with. It goes out, skips past the post and goes over and will draw Italy level as we go in at halftime. Seven all apiece. Well, we knew this was always going to be a really fun fixture. Italy going up against Scotland. Italy with nothing to lose in this game down in joint last in the table. Scotland with everything to lose. Still on for that grand slam opportunity after doing so well in this tournament so far. But Scotland were the ones who got off to the better start in this game. Keeping that possession which sometimes has gone awry for them by kicking it away. They've held on to it today. Going through those one-off phase plays. Trying to find the gaps in the Italian defence. And it's been Finn Russell. The man that's been unlocking that defence so far. All of the attacks that have been making the ground have been through his hands at some point and eventually led to Scotland getting over for their first try again. The breakaway just being a bit of an issue for Itty to deal with, not being able to slow down that breakdown. The ball shipped out towards the midfield and Matt Fagerson going over for his try converted by Finn Russell. But Italy are never a team to be deterred in this. They are always wanting to compete and they managed to get back into this game coming straight off the back of the kickoff. A knock-on by Ali Price put Italy into a great position and they have been prodding and probing trying to find that gap and eventually it does come for them in the form of Marine out on that wing playing in that inside centre position for the first time in the Mad Dragon series gets over for his try running around to Han van der Merwe and riding the tackle of Blair Kinghorn converted over by Garbisi it's seven all apiece Scotland have looked more dominant for big portions of this first half but is the momentum shift beginning to kick in can Italy cause the upset
On to the second half then, and only one change at halftime. Pierre Bruno has come on on the wing for Italy. What difference can he make in this game? They've obviously not been feeling they've been making enough inroads on that right-hand wing and they're hoping a bit of a shift up in personnel will be the big changer in this one. Steven Varney gets it out quickly to Monte Iwani, tries to kick it over the top. Not a great kick by him though. And Blair Kinghorn suddenly on the counter-attack puts Italy right back where they were when they took that kick. They'll just want to try and reorganise that defence a little bit as they begin to break through through Jamie Ritchie this time. Italy looking all out of shape at the start of the second half. Not what they want to see and who again is going to be breaking that defense it's going to be Finn Russell been all over it today oh is the ball getting out wide who's going to be able to shut down Hugh Jones they've got to get out to stop Duhan van der Merwe oh what a unbelievable tackle to come in and save Italy there right on the touchline Duhan van der Merwe thought he was there for all intents and purposes and the referee has said there was no knock on from the tackle by Duhan van der Merwe when Italy put it, picked it up. So they've actually been pushed back over their own try line. I think they might have got that call wrong. I think Duhan van der Merwe dropped the ball there. But Scotland have the opportunity to take something else from this second half so early on as they get the big shove. And Italy have looked good in the scrum so far and still do. They are still driving on. They've managed to get back. The ball off of the Scotland scrum and Stephen Varney will box kick them just outside of the 22 to try and relieve a little bit of pressure as Scotland have their first line out of the day and Grant Gilchrist collects it successfully. Oh, great little pop pass though to his adjoining lock trying to just find a little sneaky way through as Ali Price goes wider this time out to the centres, not working for them and turned over, only the second turnover of the game for Italy as they go out to the try scorer Marine, out to Ioane can he outrun, Blair Kinghorn, he's charging up for the line, we know the pace that Ioane does have, he's still going oh Blair Kinghorn, what an unbelievable save to stop them getting over for that try as Padovani picks it up, I feel like the Scottish player's offside there, not retreating obviously the referee said he's perfectly allowed to be there but I don't know if he retreated enough after that ball was kicked Italy will feel like maybe an opportunity has gone begging as Fischetti gets it out to Bruno goes for a little kick over Kyle Stain, not managing to work it and Blair Kinghorn once again being the man to tidy it up oh and Padovani a little bit of a slip trying to turn back the other way puts his foot into touch and Scotland have an easy exit from their own 22. Oh, offloaded again by the back of this lock. This is something we've been seeing all day. Oh, it's Finn Russell once again. He's still going. Who's there? Is anyone going to be able to chase him down? What an unbelievable line by Finn Russell. Just carving open this Italian defence today. No one has been able to mark him. We've seen this move off the back of the line out a couple of times now. The actual jumper taking the ball down, not going for the mall and popping the pass off. But look at this work. Oh, the dummy throw by Finn Russell there. And the two other defenders were just too far away, splitting the difference. Superb work by Finn Russell. He has been everywhere in this game today and put Scotland back in the lead with a pretty easy conversion, you'd have to say, right in front of the post. My money would be on him being able to convert this one as well, which will take Scotland back out to a seven-point lead and does so. Finn Russell also competing for the man of the match performance today. Been absolutely fantastic all game. And Scotland needs something to be shifting up as Garbisi will get us kicked off and underway this time going for the high ball and it's allowed to bounce oh and who's on it it's brex managing to pick it up but just about pushed into touch no he's managed to stay in says the touch judge can scotland play out from here or oh, they do manage it with a great clearance kick once again by finn russell as padovani tries to get a kick oh tried to go for the corner thought there was no one there but scotland were able to get the charge down and all the pressure is back on italy as they get it out to that man duhan van der merwe not someone you want to give the room to italy do well being able to shut him down but can they go on a charge themselves not a lot of time left on the clock and ali price eventually gives away for a penalty hands in the ruck that will bring a bit of relief to this Italy team. As Italy will go for a kick up towards that Italian, uh, Scottish 22, sorry. Italy coming on with a few substitutions as well. Replacement in the front row. Fiverr comes in as the replacement hooker. We've also got Alessandro Fusco coming in as the replacement scrum half and Zanon coming on at centre. Brex has actually gone off, picked up a bit of a knock in that last series of play. 
So he'll be going in alongside of Marine, two very attacking centres, and there is the partnership being spoken about as Zanon gets it out wide to Yuani. Can Blair King on put in another monstrous tackle, gets there. But Yuani manages to reach over and score the try, and that was just what we were talking about in those substitutions coming in. Zanon partnering up with Marine, two very attacking centres, and immediately linking up together off the back of that great pop pass. Going out there to Zanon, drawing in Kyle Stain and Montiwani getting out there once again. Blair Kinghorn does brilliantly to get the tackle, but just too difficult of a man to shut down from there. And Garbisi will now have a big task to try and get a very difficult conversion out from the line. Oh, is the kick. The wind going against him. He knows that might be the big deciding factor in this game. There is still 10 minutes left on the clock. They still can turn this game around as Finn Russell giving an improper kickoff. The momentum shift is beginning to creep in now. I can feel Italy feeling positive about this as we go for an Italian scrum. One of the areas that's been working really well for them today. And they've got that replacement hooker on as well. What difference will that make in this game as Italy set up to go for a big scrum here the ball being pushed to the back of the scrum where will the room open up and alessandro fusco says he thinks he's seen the room or oh, couldn't get that pass away can they ship it out wide to monte he goes for a big up and under the wind's gonna carry this one it's been allowed to bounce oh well recovered though can Scotland get a clean exit? Doesn't really work for them. The ball has bounced really far. Grant Gilchrist is chasing this one down. Great work by the big man to get back to stop that one because he could see the counter-attack coming in as Negri this time to Yuane. Can he stay in the field of play? He does. Three minutes left on the clock and Scotland get a turnover. Italy ran out of men near that breakdown and Lorenzo Canone comes in with an unbelievable interception. And suddenly, they link up again in that centre part. Partnership. It's Marine trying to get his way round. Gets the offload to Bruno. <laughs> Blair Kinghorn with an unbelievable tackle to save Scotland once again. Italy just struggling to do the final action to get through there. As Garbisi goes for an unbelievable crossfield kick out to Montiuani. Has he been able to steal this game for Italy? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What an unbelievable piece of work. Garbisi seeing the width out there to Yuani, picks it up on the bounce and able to run it beyond Kyle Stain. Blair Kinghorn can't believe it after all the hard work he's put in defensively. You thought this game was done. Oh my goodness. Count Garbisi kick this one over. They won't be able to seal Scotland out from getting the losing bonus point. It's not a great kick once again by Italy, but what an upset they have caused in the dying minutes of this game to be able to steal that one away one misconversion by Garbisi you thought might be the ruling decision to why Scotland win this game after Finn Russell played brilliantly there he is he thought man of the match and a great win going towards their six nations dreams but Italy have come in with the major major upset let me know what you think of this one guys who gets your man of the match award drop it down in the comment section do you think this could be a result we see in the real match on the weekend or do you think scotland are on to continue their winning ways in the six nations let me know down in the comment section guys i hope you've all enjoyed this one today i'll see you all next time bye bye